what's up if you're new here my name is marina i do mobile home living in tennessee in a trailer park we are proud trailer park people so today is friday i'm starting off my weekend vlog i do a weekend vlog every single weekend and just kind of bring you guys along with us during the weekend right now i'm waiting on something to come so you guys know last weekend I got the dryer. Um, our dryer quit working. It exploded. Quite literally it smoked. Um, so I, we need a new dryer and thankfully, uh, thanks to Jesus and thanks to you guys, we were able to get a new dryer, which is something that we've never been able to do. That was our first ever brand new appliance and I'm 29 years old and changed 33. Um, to say it feels good is it's an understatement i i can't even I'm, i can't even talk about it you guys know i before i started making any kind of income from youtube i started saving up for a dishwasher and i had been steadily saving up for it i do a cash envelope method i have multiple envelopes going at a time um as far as like home updates and makeovers and just things in general that i want like i saved up for an ipad um and i was saving up for a dishwasher and i finally saved up enough money to get it and then Jesus <laughs> so I was on cloud nine thinking I was just gonna get me a dishwasher and I was so grateful for it I'm already grateful for my dryer God's just blessing me left and right and then Jesus makes something like today happen and I'm I'm currently standing at my countertop waiting on my brand new fridge to be delivered I can't take any of the credit for it I just want to thank Jesus I just want to thank him I just want to thank him because you know what this one y'all know y'all seen me lay hands on this one I don't know how many times um she she has a temp she has a temper <laughs> But she's been good, and I've been thankful for her. And I've, she served our family. She, me calling my fridge, she. It served our family good um, for the amount of time that we've had it. Even though it's, let's see if it'll do it. It usually like smokes you out with like cold air and it's like. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh, it's not even. It's not even okay so this is what's been going on it usually freezes everything even the temperature thing is messed up on it or something and then it'll stop working and then it'll run double time it's weird but last week shane noticed that the food was warm all of our food was ruined it it was literally room temperature and he's like marina what in the world i was like oh no when i tell you god made a way just know wholeheartedly that he made a way so we have a fridge <laughs> we have a fridge coming and then we have, um, we're going to pick up the uh, dishwasher because it's been, we've been having some issues with the delivery, but um, <laughs> it's fine. I'm not complaining. <laughs> we've had some issues with them not wanting to deliver on at the same time and then changing the dates. Bless you. And then changing the date on us, um, which I get it 100%. It's, they probably don't have enough workers to like do the workload right now. Everybody's hiring but um the fridge is on its way here right now between 11:30 and 3:30, and it's almost noon um and then tonight when shane gets home we're gonna run and we're just gonna get the dishwasher and try to install it ourselves lord willing <laughs> grateful grateful is not the word i'm just beside myself humbled and thankful so that's what we're doing is we're hanging around and waiting on Lowe's to get here uh and the kiddos want to go to nanny's she's been getting them like once a week i think i told you guys that she's been getting them once a week and they've been going up there and having a blast and it's been giving me time to like catch up on editing and filming and right now i've got a one hour a one hour deep declutter with me i'm going straight minimal and i'm going minimal my way not minimal mainstream like not mainstream minimal minimal my way um just so it's sustainable because if I try to do it any other way like I know um, I'm just going to revert back to old habits so <sighs> fridge coming, what? I've got that video uploading right now I gotta do the thumbnail and gotta do the tags and all that behind the scenes stuff real quick I don't know what DIY 
like what envelope I want to get into this weekend. So I have my pantry envelope, but if I do it the way I want to do it, I have enough budgeted for it because I'm very careful on how I budget things. I have enough budgeted for it. I've saved enough, but I always like having a little bit more just in case things come up that you don't you don't expect to. I don't dip into our actual money, like our living money for anything home related purpose at all, like nothing. Um, that is for lots electric, wa lots electric, <laughs> water, um, food, insurance, um, kids stuff, like necessities. That's for that and I don't touch it for decor or anything like that. So I like having a little bit more just in case because nobody wants to start a video and start a project and it not be and not be able to finish it. So if I don't do the pantry this week, I'm thinking about working my way through the house. Right now I have a big old gaping hole in my hallway. Um, it's been there for like three years. It, it was like the size of a basketball and we tried to fix it with joint compound and that didn't really work. Well, actually it was like, it, was, it wasn't joint compound, it was something else. So I'm thinking about fixing it and then fixing up the hallway and doing like not like a major makeover just like a makeover for right now type of thing and then finishing the trim in places that needs to be fixed so the trim needs to be painted on the top here you can see like it needs to be painted up there and then we need to trim the whole bottom living room because whenever i took up the carpet and put down the floor i didn't put the trim right away trim is my least favorite if you can't tell if you've been here a while you know that then i gotta put trim over the fireplace insert i gotta put trim over the top and then outline the sides of that so there's a lot of things that i could do and i'm not really sure what i'm going to get into but i'm veering towards that the hallway and then the trim work and then I've got, ooh, I got some stuff. I'll show you, I'll show you. I'm, my mind's reeling for fall. I'm, I'm biting at the bit to get into fall decor because I'm not really a big fall decor decorator. But I'm excited. I haven't ever just really decorated for it, so I'm excited to try my hand at it. So we're just waiting, just waiting, patiently waiting for the fridge and uh, pinch me, like pinch me. Thank you for being good to my family. I'm grateful for you. Man, tell him how about that Lowe's guy just now. <laughs> he, he told Nanny he was talking to her about her fridge and she didn't do something right. He said, I bet you it'd give you the craps, didn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, no, they didn't tell me at all about cleaning my, letting the water run or nothing. I tried my and hardest. I ate it. I ate the ice. Yeah, you ate the it, ice. It, and no time to fill it You up. probably boosted your immune system, man. I, bribe you. I guess I've done something. I, <laughs> I tried my best to get him in the videos, but he wouldn't do it. But he was YouTube gold. I told him, I was like, you are YouTube gold. That's he was hilarious. <laughs> hello. Hello. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I may have moved it since the guys brought it and messed up my floor. Shane and I will fix that. Well, Shane will fix that. I'll just assist in however he needs me assisting. But thank you. Jesus, I'm in love with it. I, it's empty <laughs> because I literally, well, except for popsicles, I still haven't even got the tape out. I've filtered out the water. They told me I had to get like two gallons of water out of it before we could drink it. Or it, the Lowe's guy specifically said it would give me the craps. <laughs> he literally said that. So, and I think I had to get rid of the ice it's made, like the first round of ice it's made. But there's so much more room. I was mapping out our groceries in here. There's so much more room to put stuff. Shane and I had Olive Garden last night. So much more room. I wanted to get one with the drawers, and originally I did, but they it was too big. The too big for my door frame. I guess mobile home doors have small are smaller doors. I didn't really notice that. I didn't realize that until we were trying to get a fridge, and I had to cancel orders, and then I had to go, and I had to actually measure out fridges and stuff like that like our door and stuff so it was a process but happily happily would do it again I, it's, I'm blown away so I don't think I told you guys I think I told you Instagram but the dishwasher situation is frustrating um, at first I ordered okay so the first time I had to cancel the fridge order I ordered it and the dishwasher together 
I would have gotten those if I hadn't have canceled the fridge order. But I canceled the fridge order because the fridge was too big to come through the door. So I had to get measurements and really base my decision for the fridge off of what could fit in here because they could take the doors off but the Lowe's guy or the delivery guy because it's two separate companies I didn't know that until he told me but the delivery guy said that it all depends on the base and if the base is too big there's nothing they can do about it so I had to cancel that order then I ordered this one and the dishwasher they canceled the dishwasher and then they got back to me and said they didn't cancel it but they had to reschedule it so it would be two separate scheduled dates and then they got back to me and said that the one I wanted was unavailable and I was like are you kidding me? Like a dishwasher. I need the dishwasher. So I went to Lowe's to see if they had any available and they don't. Not in my price range which I, I can't spend $1,500 on a on a dishwasher i just want a little 500 dollars dishwasher that works like that's what i budgeted out for that's what i saved for and i don't want to take money out of my pantry um fund just because i you know what i mean like i don't i don't i don't need a fancy dishwasher i just need a dishwasher that's gonna work <laughs> i don't know what we're gonna do i don't know if we're gonna go to a different Lowe's and see if they have one in stock there or if we're going to try to order off online again if i'm being honest Lowe's, ordering off the Lowe's website has been a very, very big headache. It's been a month long, over a month long process now. Um, the delivery service, working with it, is awesome. I loved those delivery guys. They were top notch. They knew what they were doing. They were friendly. They were prompt. They were everything. And so I know that Lowe's is probably extremely stressed right now with like you know there's in Tennessee I don't know about where you guys live but in Tennessee there's a very like big unemployment ratio but people are choosing to stay at home versus going to work so everywhere's hiring you can find a job anywhere right now um it's just not enough people wanting to work I guess you could say that's what the numbers say anyway I don't know personally but that's what the numbers say and that's what they've been telling us on the news I don't know what to do. I do know that I need to get my makeover because I try to do a weekly makeover. I've budgeted ahead of time to do weekly makeovers. So I don't know. The makeover I'm wanting to do today uh, wouldn't, like, I couldn't dip into that to get a dishwasher if I wanted to. It's the hallway makeover. So I don't know. I do know that I need to get my makeover done though. I try to do at least like a, some kind of home. A, some kind of home related video a week like whether it be a makeover or touch-ups or updates or a decorate with me or something like that I try to it's not always but I try to make that a weekly thing because that's what I most enjoy doing on my channel uh, but the makeover that I want to do this week the makeover I've budgeted out for it wouldn't be enough if I dipped into it to get the dishwasher anyway it's just a hallway makeover and it's a very simple very affordable very budget friendly hallway makeover I'm just gonna do that and then I'm just gonna happily wait until I can get a dishwasher patient patiently I have the money I have the funds I have you know it's really a time thing right now um, but listen, it's not going to kill me to wash dishes by my hand. I'm not so privileged that I will not wash dishes by hand for months. For months and months and months if I had to. Prayerfully, I don't. But still, I'm just, I'm grateful for what I have. And I'm, even my broken dishwasher, I'm grateful for it because at one point it was a very well working dishwasher. I'm grateful because I have a sink with running water and I'm grateful that I have two hands and I can wash dishes if I need to. And I'm grateful that I have soap I can have dish soap and I have all the things I need to wash the dishes I'm grateful for that so if the process for the dishwasher takes a little bit longer than normal I'm a okay with it so what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of how my makeovers work and how I like set them up okay, so what I'm doing is I'm laying out on paper what exactly I want in my hallway I'm laying it out on this piece of paper so I have in my mind what I want for it but I don't have in my wallet what I need for it. <laughs> Thankfully I have this which is my hallway envelope. If you're new here and you don't know what I'm talking about I have an envelope for every home update, every home makeover, reno, remodel, everything like that. Anything to do with home related, home update related stuff I have separate envelopes for them. 
I put five dollars in them a week, two dollars in them a week, 25 cents, there's some quarters in here. I keep adding to it. I try, I try to add everything up in my mind, but I don't do it on paper because it takes me a while to really figure out what I want for an update or a remodel. So I save up what I think will be enough. And then, because I change my mind a lot, at the very last minute, I go in and I put everything on paper. I also have my Lowe's app here so that I can, oh, my Walmart order's ready. Four unavailable items. Are you pulling my leg? What's unavailable? Sorry, okay. Anyways, what we're talking about, they're preparing my order. We gotta go get it in a minute. But I wanna get this Lowe's thing in uh, before then. So I'll get my Lowe's app out and I'll get the estimation of how much it'll be from my Lowe's app. For the hallway, I'm wanting to do cheer rail down the sides, down one side. Or do we want both sides? Do I want it to look like, do I want to, out of my peripheral, see amazing, awesome, mansion-like walls. No, I'm blind in my left eye. So I won't even see out of that peripheral. So all that really matters is the right side. <laughs> That's cheaper too. So only the right side, yeah, only the right side is gonna have cheer, cheer rail, as we call it in Tennessee. Y'all are probably like, what is cheer rail? Like, cheer wine. No, it's actually chair rail. But I did not know that until a few minutes ago when I was looking it up on Lowe's. So just know, cheer rail is chair rail. So if I hear, so if you hear me say chair rail, I'm talking about chair rail. I just can't say chair rail. It's physically impossible for a Tennessean to say that. So I'm not really only putting it on one wall because I'm blind in my left eye. It just, that's a good excuse. Um, it's really because I can't afford both walls. <laughs> and all my other uh, makeover options, are bigger than this and I want to get this makeover done in a day this one is the one that can be done in a day so I'm gonna put chair 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 <laughs> I'm gonna put chair rail oh that's painful I'm gonna put chair rail on the right wall so I need to get measurements for that wall there's also no baseboards on there I've got to get baseboards so I need to get measurements for that long wall for the chair, chair rail, <laughs> and the baseboards. Cole, you wanna help me? Get measurements. Yeah. Okay, so they had to move my gate. My hallway isn't this short. They had to move my gate in order to get the fridge in. But Cole's gonna help me. What's up, guys? <laughs> He's gonna help me get the measurements. Banks is on that side of the gate, uh-oh. All right, so you go all the way, take this all the way to the end of that wall. Can I stretch that part? Yeah. All right, all the way. Wow. All right, now put it up against the wall. This? Up against that wall, buddy. There you go, good job. Okay, this is, is it up against the wall completely? Yeah. See? All the way, it's touching that one. Is it touching the one to your left? What? Is it touching the one to your left? Is it up against that wall? And this? Yeah. Yeah, it's touching it. Okay, so this is 12 foot on the dot. 12 foot, I did not know that. I thought it was gonna be eight foot. So we're gonna have to split the chair rail. Okay, we can do it. Okay, so the chair rail comes in eight foot measurements, right? So I'm gonna need two of those. Those are $15 a piece. Two chair rails. Chair, I can say it when I'm writing it because I have to spell it out in my head, chair. I don't cheer. Cheer rails, because we're happy to have you in our home. <laughs> What's the flip? Chair rails. Okay, so then I'm gonna do the picture frame box style molding um and i'm gonna do that i don't know how many i'm gonna do but i know for sure i want three big boxes on that right wall underneath that chair rail so um mm, they come in eight foot pieces as well so we're going to get i don't know how big i want my boxes and I really don't want to measure it out until I get the chair rail up. That way I can kind of go off from the baseboards and the chair rail, you know, and find a happy medium. 
So I'm gonna get six pieces of that. Um, and if I have leftover, that'll be fine. Um, either Nanny will, either Nanny will get the leftovers or, wait, did I put four? I would love to get big old pictures made. I have the chair rail going on the right wall, the box, uh, PVC molding underneath that. I have to have the baseboards and I have the white paint already. So that's for that wall. I'll also, I'm thinking about putting poster pictures and getting um, poster, poster picture frames from Walmart. Do they have those in store? Uh, I'm thinking about doing that and doing one for each of the kids and then on the far very back wall where the hole is I'm going to fill in that hole and then on top of that to blend in all that um, joint compound and stuff on the front I'm going to do the brick method on it. I was a little bit hesitant to do the brick method on that wall because I feel like there's already a lot of brick pieces in my home but that's going to be like the flowing character of my home that brick is what makes brings my home all together i got brick in the living room got brick in well we'll have brick in the dining room and i've got this brick wall behind me here and then the brick on the end cap of my uh island so i'm going to brick the very back wall and then i'm going to put a camera singing do you hear him <laughs> what you singing baby sing it You got such a pretty voice, Cammy. You sing so good. Well, oh yeah. So we're going to do the brick, and then I'm going. I already bought a mirror. I bought that mirror six months ago for the hallway. That's how long I've been saving for the hallway. I got the mirror. I'm going to put on the very back, and then do you guys know the um, the homeschool cabinet that I had, where my coffee bar is now? It was right over there. And it was that farmhouse look with like the wooden top and the white and the barn door slide um, for the drawer. I may put that back there underneath the mirror if it fits. If not, then that mirror is just going to be a focal point and I'll eventually get like a table. But right now the table is not going to be in my um, budget at all. You guys know it's never extravagant on my channel, but it's always... I love what I do. I've never spent a fortune on a makeover. I know there's other YouTubers that they do amazing work. Amazing work and they, you know, they it's expensive stuff. Um, and I admire them for the work that they do. But for me and what level of, uh, I, I don't even know if we're considered middle class. <laughs> are we? I don't know. I don't even know what the classes are. Like that's how irrelevant my income is to the world. But I, I'm happy with what we've created i'm happy with what you guys have helped me create because you guys have somebody um i would not have ever done the coffee bar if one of you guys hadn't suggested it it never even crossed my mind to make a coffee bar so we me you and i and jesus are making this place it's so pretty so pretty all right i've sat here and mapped it all out i've gotten what measurements i can get being here alone shane went to the landfill he's going to be gone for a while <laughs> so i've gotten what i can by myself and then i'm going to purchase this go pick up our groceries in 20 minutes and then on the way back home i'll stop and i'll do the lowe's pickup they just bring it out to my car but that's how it works it's really simple i see something in my head I make sure I got the money for it and I put it on paper as well as I can and then I just really hope for the best. <laughs> okay, we are headed off to get groceries and we are like running like chickens with our head cut off. We have to go get the groceries, bring it home, then go back out to Walgreens to get our pictures and then go and get our stuff at Lowe's. It's a mess. Woo! Okay, so we're just getting in with the groceries. I'm going to have everybody's helping me. Uh, get them in so I can do a quick grocery haul and then we can go and get the picture posters from Walgreens. We have to go to Lowe's to get the Lowe's pickup, which they called us, and we had to modify some stuff. So I don't know how that's going to turn out. Um, I was just like, Yeah, just do it, just do it. <laughs> like, whatever you need to do, just do it. So, and then, oh, and then we got to go by Walmart and go inside and try to find some poster. Uh, picture frames like poster frames for the pictures hopefully we can find some of those but for right now we're gonna get all this laid out so I can show you guys what we got 
Okay, so y'all know the drill. I'm going to show you guys the first load and then I'm going to put it away because I don't have room for the second load. So I'm just going to show you guys what we got for the first load, put it away, and then show you guys the second load. Um, I am on low carb. My family does not eat low carb. So rather than do two different meal plans this week, I just made one meal plan and then I put little footnotes as to how I can modify it to fit within my, like what I need my diet to be. So, let's just start here for produce and stuff that I already have unbagged. There's still probably produce in the bags, but from what I could grab, I got two cantaloupes back there because we are cantaloupe eaters. <laughs> got some grapes. The kiddos love to snack on these. Got some strawberries. Some baby carrots. We're doing roast. I'll, I'll show you guys the meal plan in a second. Some baby carrots. Some baby cucumbers or actually salad cucumbers, but they look like baby cucumbers. They're itty bitty. I got some asparagus. I'm going to try to introduce that into my kiddos' meals. They have never, ashamedly, ashamedly, I'm ashamed to say, but they've never tried asparagus. So we're going to try it. We're going to try to dress it up some way to where the, you know, we can slowly get them used to it. And me, honestly. <laughs> I got a two pack of butter. I got this great value brown sugar and cinnamon cream cheese spread. I'm going to do some bagels. Um, I can't have a lot of bread, but if I do like half of a bagel with some cream cheese, I'll be able to, it'll be okay. Um, and I got regular cream cheese spread. So I got the regular and I got the brown sugar and cinnamon. And then that's if I'm feeling a treat. And then I got two blocks of cream cheese, not the spreadable kind. I got some sour cream. I got the kiddos several different like snacky options for like yogurt. I got them the pouches of low fat yogurt and these are the mixed berry ones. And then I got the uh, blueberry and strawberry ones. I got the blueberry and strawberry ones. <laughs> and I got the melon berry and strawberry banana ones. Um, they could, they'll have these eat in a week if I let them, but we're going to try to have all these stretch for at least two to three weeks. I uh, got some white American cheese and some regular American cheese because our house is totally divided. Half of us love this kind and half of us love this kind. So we have to get some for each of us. Got some mild shredded cheddar cheese, two things of it, and some mozzarella and some milk back there. I got me my regular sugar-free um, sweet cream creamer but I also got this to try it's the delight kind it's zero sugar though and it's the caramel macchiato one that sounded quite fancy it's not like a, a motorcycle just drove by but it's that fan again every time the wind blows I have a fan up there that goes and it sounds like vibration it sounds like I'm being abducted by aliens but I'm really not I got some heavy whipping cream I got some bologna it's actually not the beef kind it's like that chicken alligator pork dog kind but um, I got it and then I got some pepperoni we had to clear everything out and honestly I didn't have a lot of meat left over we've really been doing a pantry challenge the past couple of weeks so just know Walmart didn't put these in bags like this so I opened the bag and there was like meat blood water all over the place so I got two things of hamburger meat I got a four pack of like the round steaks and then I got two regular steaks. The four pack of the round steaks will be for the kiddos and then Shane and I will have regular steaks. I got some roast um, for a crock pot roast and then I got some chicken, like thinly sliced chicken breast. Got some sweet tea for the kids and some unsweet tea for me. Here are those bagels I was telling y'all about. It's the everything bagel. It's got some of that seasoning on it. That's a hit. I also got some of the seasoning in itself to put on it in case I want a little bit extra more. And then I got some tortillas. Excuse me. <laughs> I got some microfiber rags. And then I stocked us up on some uh, medicine stuff just because Shane's been aching. <laughs> He's been hurting. He's been working his booty off. So I've got... Well, this one's not for Shane. <laughs> I mean, it could be. But honestly, Shane could take it and it might help his attitude a little bit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 then I got some vape rub just because we used our last bit the last time one of the kiddos got sick. I got some flexible band-aids. These are the antibacterial kind. So I already have regular band-aids, but these actually have like an antibacterial thing on it. And then I got two things of alcohol pads. I got some isropro 
Proprial. Inappropriate alcohol. Is that what that says? <laughs> I got some of these stainless steel wipes to try out on the refrigerator. I'm going to try these out, but I also read that WD-40 works awesome on stainless steel stuff. So I'm going to go in between the two and see which one I like better. Obviously, I think WD-40 would be way cheaper in the long run. But I'm going to try both of them. I got some pens, and then I got two actually i think i got four of the cereal stores dispensers i just have two up here i'll probably come across the other two in a minute and then i got some three pack of the deluxe mac and cheese got shane his twinkies i found these and these look super different i had never seen these before they're the reese's peanut butter flavored cupcakes i figured the kids would really love those got some peanut butter and crackers some pepper because i was out some ranch i think i had plenty but i just got one just in case um Olive oil, sweet baby rays, mustard, olive garden Italian dressing, marinara, Nesquik to go in the milk if the kids want chocolate milk, some of these Black Forest Juicy Bursts. I've been seeing these all over YouTube, so I figured we'd get those to try them. And I got some Honey Nut O's, Honey Nut O's, and some Rice Crisps. <laughs> and some frosted flakes now how come they can call that frosted flakes but they can't call that rice krispies that don't make a lick of sense and i got some raisin bran why can they call it that but they can't call those rice krispies and why can't they call these honey nut cheerios see they don't make no sense we can't afford the fun pack yeah we can't afford the brands <laughs> which there's honestly no difference actually okay i'm lying sometimes these taste like i don't know boogers yeah they don't taste too hot but i mean you know i shouldn't say that for my kids because i'll never want to eat them again okay second trip Okay, second load. Regular potatoes. Golden potatoes. Two things of hamburger helper. I got the um, different kinds. Cheesy ranch burger. Two things of Sister Schubert's. That sounds like a lady I'm in church with. <laughs> Rolls. Viani sausages. Miss garlic. I've been seeing all my friends use this on their food i don't know what it is but i'm about to find out let's just like that's that's big too golly beef broth chicken broth brown sugar i put that in my barbecue chicken marinade stuff fajita seasoning i meant to get taco but i got fajita two zero sugar 10 pico things and a 24 pack of water we got panko sorry i'm eating uh, kidney beans, pinto beans, four cans of hominy, black beans, green beans, I think this is green beans, no, corn, diced tomatoes, rotel, green beans, Doritos for Shane, Fritos, plain bagels, just in case I'm not feeling everything bagel bagels. I saw this and I thought somebody might like it. It's cool, but I'm just realizing it's noodle soup. Who wants noodle soup? No. <laughs> Somebody's gonna eat it. Two things of chicken ramen. Two things of beef ramen. We were completely out of ramen and I always stock us up on it just because we don't eat it very often. But I feel like when we do get in the hankering for some ramen, we eat a lot of ramen. So <sighs> wax noodles. Four things of wax noodles. Might as well coat you some spaghetti in some scented wax and eat it. Honestly, chicken scented wax. Fruit spins. That's the last box of cereal this week. This round for breakfast, we're not doing pancakes. We usually have like four things of pancakes lined up here, the frozen ones. We're not doing those this week because we've been eating those. They've been eating those for a while and they're kind of eh on them now. So we got different variety, a different variety of cereals for breakfast. Got some hydrogen peroxide. Some tin full, some baby wipes, ibuprofen, and two things of antibacterial cream. I got these fancy looking rolls, which look really good. I think the kiddos and Shane will really like those. Two loaves of bread and a 28 pack of chips for snacks and lunches and stuff like that this week. Did I say 24 pack? I'm sweating y'all. Did I say a 24 pack of water? A 24 pack of water too and then Shane's 24 pack Dr. Pepper. He always has to have that. So that's what we got. We're going to get it put up and then we're going to go to Lowe's and Walgreens. 
Oh, wait, let me show you my meal plan. Hold on. Where's my phone at? Crap, dang it. I put it on my phone this week because I had to take down my chalk thing whenever I got the new fridge and I just haven't put it back up yet. I lost it, so while I can remember it, let's write it down. Let's see, I got roast carrots and potatoes. I'll have a few carrots, but those are pretty high in carb. I won't have any taters. Um, I got taco soup, barbecue chicken, steak, um, what's those little thingies that we don't eat called? Shane, asparagus, shake. Steak, asparagus, and there's these um, crock pot mashed taters I saw on TikTok. I'm gonna try. Oh, hamburger helper. All right, so we're gonna have roast carrots and potatoes in the crock pot. Oh, they didn't give me my crock pot liners. Were they out? They didn't go figure. The one time I ordered crock pot liners, they didn't give them to me. They make liners for crock pot. Yeah, so you don't have to clean them out. Well, are you I kidding me? Year. After year, after year. Croctober last year, Croctober, October when you do all the crock pot meals. I did that last year and he had to clean it every night. Okay, so roast carrots and potatoes in the crock pot, taco soup, barbecue chicken, green beans, um, probably some mac and cheese for the kiddos and Shane, steak, asparagus, and these crock pot mashed taters that I've seen. They look really good. I might try a little bit of those, but I can't go overboard. I might not even. I might just get me some cauliflower, cauliflower mash. And then hamburger helper. And then I'll probably do like a charcuterie board. A charcuterie? I think it's charcuterie or something like that. Charcuterie board with cheese crisps and stuff like that. So yeah, now we gotta go to Walgreens and Lowe's. Good morning, it's Sunday. Why, every time Binks, every time. So it's Sunday morning and I did not update you guys last night after we went to Lowe's and Walgreens. Walgreens pictures came out fuzzy, but it's okay. I I anticipated them too because they told me like the quality was bad. But it's okay because with my eyesight does it doesn't really matter. And I'm really the only one that goes back that way except for the kiddos and stuff. So I don't think Shane sees that side of the house very often, do you? What? That side of the house, uh -huh. past the hallway. Mm -mm. Okay, so <laughs> um, I will say. Mm -hmm. I really don't want this video to be a rag on Lowe's, so I'm not going to say what I want to say, but what I'm going to say is they didn't give me everything that I needed for my project, and then when they called to fix it, we thought it was fixed because we fixed it on our end, but on their end, they did not. Will you make sure that that got refunded, by the way? It's okay. We're in the middle of a pandemic. It's especially getting bad again right now, so we're hunkering down again. We're not going into places anymore. Um, it was fun while there were no new cases and everything looked like it was going to get back to normal, but it's it's not. It's getting worse here again. So, we're going to be still doing grocery pickup. I planned on going to the actual grocery store this weekend and then after looking at those numbers, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to put lives at risk, not only mine, but others. So we ended up doing grocery pickup, which grocery pickup was okay. There's a few things that were missing. Um, but they let us know like it wasn't anything that I didn't expect it wasn't anything that I didn't expect to miss so it was good Walmart did great this time um, I'm gonna have to work with what I have on my hallway because I don't have everything that I need done it's not gonna be exactly how I want it but I can't afford to buy the more expensive battens that they have in stock so I'm gonna use what I have and we're gonna work with it and it's gonna look great we're gonna work with it and it's gonna look great and I'm gonna love it Mama mia. I wanted to show you guys look how much extra room I have in this fridge I'm shocked I thought at first we didn't put everything refrigerated up because in the smaller like the box fridge that we had you know like it has that big area in that other big area and you just kind of have to pack everything in there and then it all gets pushed up against the back where the vent is and everything freezes back there this one it it like rotates the coolness so that doesn't happen but look at this look how much room i just went and got groceries yeah, what kind of me. like did you see it yeah. so much extra room i and everything's pushed to the front i mean and i got a lot, I got $300 worth of groceries. I'm shocked. 
I do want to look up some ways to uh, organize like the fridge. I think those are so cool. And I would love to be that level of organized, honestly. So anyways, I'm going to get started on this hallway and prayerfully it doesn't take me all day long. I, I don't think it's going to be that big of a project, but I say that and it ends up being that big of a project. But hopefully, I just got out of the shower too. That's not sweat already. I don't know why I shower just to get sweaty again. I was talking to Shane about that. Like, why do we shower before we go to work? when we're just gonna get sweaty again. Does that make sense to y'all? It probably does. Um, anyways, let's get going. <laughs> so, you guys know, there's a, okay, so there's a new rap song and it's all over TikTok and I, it says it I was, Drake? yeah, it was by Drake. And it says, I was running through the six with my woes. And I was like, what does that mean? So I had to Google what it meant. And it means traveling through your neighborhood with your sorrows. So I told Shane and he said, <laughs> That just seems really random to me. That'd be like me going to the lake, sitting on a rock to reflect on myself, but I sing it like, I've been chilling with my waffle up in space. <laughs> I was chilling with my waffle up in space. <laughs> I can't. Oh gosh. Shane, you gotta tell him about your Walgreens trip. Oh my gosh. Shane has a story to tell you. Tell them what happened at Walgreens. So I gotta go to get go to Walgreens to get the posters that Rena made. I had to go to Walgreens to go get the posters that Rena had made. When I go there, the girl at the counter, <laughs> who's a kid, but she could care less on what she's doing. She's not paying attention to what she's doing. There's another customer in front of me. She's having a hard time finding her pictures. Well, then she looks at me. And she says, "Sir." Did you have an online order? And I said, yes, yes I did. What's your name? I give her my name. Then she's like, uh, oh, and she was walking over to the pictures. She's like, uh, did you get pictures? I was like, no, I got posters. Without batting an eyelash, she just grabs a roll of posters and lays them in front of me. <laughs> and all I see is at the top, I can see the Budweiser <laughs> logo, and then there's a naked leg. <laughs> had gotten online and made their husband one of those beer posters off of TikTok. <laughs> and I just look at it and I go, I don't think that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been, I said it would have been a hairy leg if it had been yours. <laughs> I said uh, that uh, you could make me the uh, Chewbacca calendar. <laughs> Okay, I got dinner cooking and I'll cook it on high for like five hours, five or six hours. I'm gonna get started on this hallway again. It's coming out good. It's coming out really good. I like it. I hope you have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. I know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I know this is a little bit different. I didn't really show you guys a lot of time lapse. I kind of just got in here to talk, but there's so much. I sneezed all over my shirt. That's gross. I uh, got here and really talked more than anything this weekend, but uh, there's a lot going on. So I love you guys, and I will see y'all probably tomorrow.